Gemini, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you end of July 2020, baby, absolutely. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts, pick a node, it don't matter to me, baby. Guys, everything is pre-shuffled and upright. Oracles are preset. I am using Dreams of Gaia as oracles this month until I'm instructed to do otherwise. Um, and I will read it reversed on a clarifier if it does come out as such. I do not read from the floor. Thank you in advance. Your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments, your emails, your love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you. I truly appreciate each and every one. And if you haven't subscribed as of yet, please do so at this time. I would love to have you. Guys, let's get started. We're going to always, um, as always, rather, uh, start with your pukas. And um, whew, go from there. The energy is heavy. If I feel like, if you, if I sound like I'm tired, I'm not. It's just your energy is extremely heavy right now. Um, it took me a minute to even start the video. Right now, I feel like a lot of you are just in a really bad place. Um, it's just dark times right now. The, the I don't know if it's the moon's transition. Um, but we've talked about in your last few readings, you dealing with past issues, things coming to the surface um, that needed to happen. I think that now you're dealing with the remnants of that uh, with others as well as within yourself. OK, uh, you're coming out with this King of Swords energy here, guys. You, you know, your energy, uh, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um <sighs> I don't like you in this energy, though. I think that you can be a bit aggressive and even abusive, honestly, with your conversations, with your tone, um, and with your intent of your words. This is um, aggressive com communication from a place of malice with the intent to hurt. You, you understand, Gemini's that's because you're hurting inside, okay? There is a better way to handle these conflicts. And I know that you're facing conflicts right now, all right? Now, you might be having this conflict with an earth sign, Libra, I'm sorry, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, somebody that is a mother or a grandmother or a sister, some type of uh, female energy, okay? And again, this is all energy, not male or female, guys, okay? It may or may not resonate, but this person is or should was considered to should be like nurturing. You you know, you wanted it. Like they're not, but this is what you wanted and this is what you see when you see them, but it just disappoints you that when they don't perform. You understand what I'm saying? Uh uh energy that's loyal, uh that's um dignified uh energy that's uh grounded uh in intuitive and teaching you understand like anyway judgment is called you know uh, you, you call judgment on the situation or divine call judgment on the situation because it needed to be addressed but uh, it feels like you know like when judgment was called and everything came out like it had you stuck you were just like flabbergasted for a second some of you did decide to try to move to reset the grounding um even reach out with friends and family to try to uh overcome it maybe be somebody even from your past, but it seems that you had always found the crossroads because no matter what you were trying to try to fill the void or to try to take your mind off the situation, it wasn't working. You kept reverting back to like, it felt like unfinished business. You understand? Um, I feel like you're trying to tame that fire. You're trying to tame this outlash, this outburst, this outcry um, that you're, uh, you know, that you feel like is inside of you. And um, intuitively, you know that uh, you felt like things were just not fair. It wasn't fair the way it turned out. It wasn't fair what happened. It wasn't fair how it was dealt with. But that was because it was nothing but the enemy, baby. Uh, playing games in your life, in your family, in your connection, because that's what the enemy does. You, you understand? Could be uh, Capricorn. But regardless, the situation was hurtful. It broke your heart and you didn't want to face it. You didn't want to deal with it. You didn't even want to believe it. You, you understand what I'm saying? Nonetheless,
nonetheless to find out that somebody lied to you is what you're trying to heal from. That's what you're trying to get balance um, from uh, with the Sagittarian energy. Um, you, you, you want divine assistance because you feel like at this point, nothing but God can, you know, fix the situation. While you're in with going within, within this Virgo energy, uh, hermit energy here, um, just trying to play back how, when, why, and what uh, during this journey, um, you're basically demanding truth and expecting truth from anyone that crosses your path. Now, um, as you spend more time here uh, with this hermit energy, that will soften your tongue a little bit, okay? So don't think that you're just going to be lashing out on everybody all the time. You're not going to stay in that energy. Just know that the more time you spend with yourself, understanding your journey, understanding your path, and understanding that every there's a reason for everything, okay? Even if we don't agree, even if we don't understand, God has a plan, okay? So that will soften uh, your conversations with people. Now, will they be, uh, deceitful? No, they're still going to be with expectation of all truth. And you will cut anybody that comes sideways without being truthful. However, this time it wouldn't be from a place of malice. It would be from a place of facts. You know, the queen of swords energy deals in uh, truth uh, based on facts. She's not trying to stand there and watch you bleed. You understand what I'm saying? The Queen of Swords energy knows that you're going to bleed, but you're bleeding because you um, you brought this upon yourself. It's not because she wants to see you bleed. I am not accepting nothing but the truth and the truth. Uh, if it's not the truth, you will get cut period. And that's just where you are because you know that you have a force to be reckoned with that you're dealing with. You're dealing with a very, very, very strong energy. This emperor energy here uh, comes off uh, militant. It comes off controlling. It comes off um, like I'm over you. Like it's almost overbearing. You understand? So you might be dealing with a matriarch of your family, somebody older, um, which is why I said with that Queen of Pentacles, it might be a mother or a grandmother. This is somebody that feels that they have the right and to do what they want, when they want, and how they want because of who they are and where they stand. You understand? But you know better. You were taught better. You uh, were brought up better. You know that uh, something is not right. And uh, this fulfillment of happiness and bliss and family um, is not what you're getting. You, you understand? Whew. So you're working on try to, I believe, pursue that, okay? And even while you're working on it, um, something inside you wants reciprocity, like justice. And because it's inside of you festering and has been for some time, it's almost like it's turning into revenge, and I don't want that for you because that's a seed of resentment and it's very, very bitter and it's very, very dark. Okay. Um, but justice, uh, is what you're, uh, requesting and God, it looks like hears you because it's followed by the star energy, which is wish fulfillment, uh, divine intervention, um, the embodiment of who you are, where you stand, what you deserve, um, birthing life changing events with this fertile empress energy, liberatorian energy, um, either, uh, you're making an offer to, or might be making an offer to you of truth, of information, of clarity, of illumination with this Ace of Swords, which is everything that you want. You can only respect that. So uh, but because it's coming from that Empress and you didn't see it coming from there, you're now realizing the connection. You're kind of thinking about, wow, I didn't even see this. How could I have been so blind? How could I have been lying to myself when I thought uh, that this earth energy now coming up as a king of pentacles was uh your twin but now you're illuminated to what this king of pentacles was really hiding and even though it was an energy that you considered to be loyal and 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 loving and nurturing and serious about um a future or serious about the foundation you have a whole new perspective you understand you see that energy different and that you just want to uh move away to calmer waters you want to move 
to peace. You want to move to tranquility. You want somebody that sees you like you see them, to see the dark, the light, the up, the down. Even if it's something that you don't want to see, you still want it to be true. And it looks like that's what you're moving towards with this Ten of Pentacles, brand new foundation, good grounding. Um, however, you're juggling it. You're trying to decide which way to go, almost as if like it's too good to be true and you still never got your revenge. So you're still looking at the latter instead of looking uh, towards the positive, but you are thinking about it, uh, thinking about that equality, that justice, because you feel like you um, were wronged with this nine of wands energy. You feel like you were done wrong. You were drugged, you know, uh, through the mud. You understand what I'm saying? divine again intervention wish fulfillment is coming guys stability um you know you that move you wanted that job you wanted uh that foundation that that uh honest to goodness offer is coming and it's coming uh, to be put on the table. In the meantime, it looks like you're so much in a defense that you might not even see the value of this. You understand? You might not see the value because you feel like you've been fighting for so long that this is all you know how to do. But this passionate new beginning is coming in and it's coming in fast. You understand? It's coming in from the divine, but know that it's going to come when you got your head down, working on yourself, working on what you're supposed to do, um, and with your mind not on your troubles, with your mind on your future. So hold on to that. I want you to. Don't hold yourself back. Let the wheel turn, okay, into favor. Close out that cycle. Start your new cycle and release these burdens of betrayal because it's the betrayal that you're carrying. It's... Um, the fact of who it was that cut you so deep because you held this person at such a high regard, but nobody is higher than God. Never forget that. Now, I want you to pay attention to this because it's going to happen really fast. You're going to get a, um, this is a snitch. You understand me? And this person only means harm. They're snitching on somebody like they have uh, tidbits, they have information, um, but you're meant to meet because it's coming in with the chariot. Now, this snitch is going to have something to say about this King of Wands energy, uh, Aries Leo Sag energy, because you see this person as somebody that got it together, passionate, driven, focused, handling their business, and it looks like you were thinking about making an offer to them or them to you. You know, this can always be vice versa, but what the snitch is going to tell you that this person uh, not really ready to um, have what you want in life right now. Um, they're going to try to leave. You're going to wind up being left out in the cold because they have a lot of hidden secrets, a lot of hidden agendas um, and things like that. And you're going to take a leap of faith and end up right back in the damn tower. You understand? Watch that snitch, though, because even though it seems like they're giving you solid information, almost as if I feel like they're going to pop up in a later reading. Like this is somebody that just pops up every now and again. And you're going to look at them like, you know, they don't even have a reason to lie to me. Like they don't even know this person. How would they even, you understand? It's going to come off like that. And it might work right now, their information, but you're going to run into them again. And their intent is not going to be the same. It's almost as if the enemy is using them just to get you when you're vulnerable, when you're not looking. Be careful of that, okay? Because right now you're trying to manifest strength and courage, ambition, um, and honor and integrity and all of the things that come with this Leo energy, uh, which is beautiful, beautiful energy. It's passion and abundance, even from this uh, empress here that stands with the lion. Uh, it's intuitive. It's like everything. You're trying to just embody a, the total package. And guys, it's coming with the six of wands energy. You will be recognized. You will be uh, validated. You will be um uh, exalted um, and stand over all of this foolishness, okay? Even though right now it might seem like a burden and it seems like your efforts are going unnoticed, they will not. Slowly but surely, you're going to see the change and move into the divine with this 1111 four wands to pursue your emotional fulfillment. Look at that. Uh, let, 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 let the cup run it over. Thank you, God. Like, seriously, I felt so good when I held these cards. I just bless God for you 
Gemini. Absolutely. Know that this storm had to happen. This process is deep. And right now, the reason why it's cutting you so bad is because you have a worthy adversary, which is yourself. Your twin right now is extremely busy. Okay? Let's get out the pukas and talk about the oracles. Ooh, all right. From the Sacred Rebel, guys, you pulled uh, Seeing the True You. Can you see that? Yeah, okay. Um, seeing the True You. Uh, who just had this? Somebody just had this. I think Capricorn, if I'm not mistaken. You might be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, but, you know, this is an energy of being out of place. She's on a sofa in the middle of a lake. OK, trying to get her bearings, trying to figure out where she is, who she is, what's going on and why she can't get it together. Um, but sometimes you're in your own way. See, if she moves her hand out of the water, the image will not be distorted and she would be able to recognize her value and her worth and her beauty um, or, or even see what it is that she's looking for in the water because see if there's something in the water for her she can't see it because a hand in a way you know move your hand let things be okay let it play out all right let god be god now the energy at the bottom of the deck that's surrounding you is that this is why it feels so dark. It feels so um, um, hurtful. Defend to the end the worthwhile. This person has been through the ringer. You see the, the mascara running, you know. And again, guys, this is energy. That I'm, I'm not saying you're walking around with mascara, okay? Work with me. But this is an energy that has been hurt. This is an energy that has been abused. This is an energy that has been lied to. And through the pain, they still stand with hope and integrity and intention. You understand? Oh, my God. Look at this. Babies, you are in this world. You are not of this world. There is more out there for you. But it is going to require faith. You understand what I'm saying? It is going to require big, bold vision. Oh, my God. Gemini's, I'm not playing with y'all. Y'all giving me goosebumps. Come on. Let me pull it in. Woo. This inner conflict is a mother, though, with this uh, five of fire here. Uh, five of wands energy in the uh, regular tarot. This is a fight. This is a fight. This is a fight. This is an internal spiritual battle. Keep praying. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, and keep praying. I cannot state that enough. Your worthy adversary is yourself. That's why it's so hard, because you know how strong and passionate you are. But so to have an opponent that is equally matching you like your twin is why it's so hard. Sometimes you got to let go and let God be God. Let it go, okay? Let it go. Focus on your task at hand, which is if it's healing, focus on your healing. If you want to focus on work to keep busy, do that. You want to focus on the family that you are getting along with, then do that, okay? But keep your focus in a positive place. Six of air right here. Um, six of swords um, in the... Rider Tarot, <clears throat> excuse me, um, duality, as you can see, completely your energy, all right? The battle is for the chakras. Understand this. You see the chakras lined up here, but you see the energies of dark and light. If you, you know, the battle is for who controls the chakras, control the emotion, which is controlling um, the what you're, what you're giving out. You understand what I'm saying? So when you think dark things and horrible things and revenge, that's what you put out. And that's why you're burning bridges with people that are not attacking you. It's just that they're uh, casualties of war right now because there is a war inside of you. You understand? Wisdom. Look right under that. Oh, my God. That's that hermit energy. Be wise, be diligent, okay? And if you need to separate yourself from the world for now, because anybody can get it. And when I say anybody from top to the bottom, the boss, the the the, the kids, anybody can get it right now. Because that's just how much on the threshold you are. Look at this. If that's not Gemini right there, do you see that? You see that? 
Do you see that dual energy? Choices need to be made, my love. You are battling. You are battling within yourself between emotions and intellect. You understand? But you have to go within and know who you are and understand that the knowledge of the situation is to make you better, that you are gaining information. You, you understand? And information is power even about yourself so that you can start on this brand new journey of life, this brand new cycle that you're in doing, uh, that you're starting starting on and you'll do so with confidence you'll do so with integrity and you'll do so with faith because God is still God and I am not playing with y'all today you understand what I'm saying <laughs> all right come on let's put some tarot down because y'all got me going um yeah let's go with these Crown this energy for Gemini, please. Crown this energy. Crown this energy, please, for Gemini. Thank you so much. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that healing with that Sagittarian energy temperance, okay? This is healing. Uh, this is you um, finding balance, okay? Looking for a place that you can stand that is not too bad, but not too soft, okay? This is just what you're, this is what's crowning you right now. It's there for you, okay? It's there for you. It's in your energy. It's in your vicinity. Just stay in the light, my loves. Tell, oh, look at that. Ten of Wands reverse. Release. I'm sorry, is that the Four of Wands? It is. Ooh, you're releasing some serious family ties. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more. Look, because of the truth. Somebody is coming clean or you're requiring somebody to come clean. Tell the truth. Tell me. And they've been holding this for a long time. And we talked about that. We talk about this. Oh, I know Gemini's uh, like two readings ago or three readings ago. We talked about that old uh, family secret. We talked about it, but it's on. It's out. It's, you know, what brought this one? Let me have. Thank you. Uh, slowly but surely. Look at that. See, slowly but surely. There was a lack of fulfillment. No matter what you did, it didn't work. You understand? Maybe with a relationship, maybe with this family member, maybe within yourself. But slowly but surely, like it seems like things came to the surface. What's undermining this energy? What's undermining? Thank you. Justice. See, that's what you want. And I'm telling you, that thought is what's going to slow you down. It's what's having you stuck. You have to let go, let go, let go, let God be God. That is not your job, my love. <sighs> let me have one on justice and the three of wands. Justice, thank you. Look at, what did I tell you? That page of swords, that, this one right here is going to be trouble. This one right here. I don't know who this is in your life, but this one is going to be trouble. They're going to stir the pot so bad. Woo. And it's not now. They, they, I mean, I'm saying not just now. This person <clears throat> is coming back. <coughs> I'm telling you, we're going to see this card next month, probably. Future energy, please. The chariot, divine motion. Where is this chariot taking Gemini right now, please? Where is the chariot taking Gemini? Cancer energy. You might be dealing with a cancer. <sighs> Gemini, clarify the chariot for future energy, please. Thank you. Magician reverse. Ah, Aquarian energy. Um... Hold on, because I'm hearing that the vine is removing somebody's manifestation power so to make them move. Yep. 
Where's the fool going? Where's the fool energy going? Tell me more about the fool. Fool energy, please. Thank you. Whew. To where you're supposed to be. Your, your divine connection. <sighs> All right. After this process, okay, or towards the end of this process, the divine motion, it's going to feel like you... It's going to feel like you're not manifesting, like you're trying, 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 and it's not happening. That's because you're you're on a train, okay? You know, a chariot is divine motion. It has no brakes. It makes no stops. The only stop it has is the last stop, which is the destination, okay? That means God is involved, and right now, um, taking away somebody's power of manifestation, either yours or somebody else's, so that it will, won't will stop you from embarking on where you're supposed to be with this full energy, with this leap of faith here into this uh, connection. What's the Two of Cups? Tell me about the Two of Cups for Gemini. What's the Two of Cups, please, for Gemini? What's the Two of Cups for Gemini, please? Two of Cups energy, please, for Gemini. Last one. Thank you. Oh, didn't it flip? It didn't flip? I felt it. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Thank you. Two of Pentacles. You're not going to trust it. We said that. We said that here in the Pukas. You're going to get a divine connection and you're going to be, some of you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say you, I'm, I'm, let me correct that and please excuse me. Some of you are going to be so set on that, that revenge that you're not going to see what God is doing in your life. And that's why I want you, it's so important for you to let this go. It's so, and I know it's easier said than done. And I know you feel like, I don't know what's going on in your life. That damn emperor. This is an illusion. Okay? It's a, is There is nothing good that can come out of revenge. There is nothing good that can come out of that. It, it, what was for you was the illumination. It was the enlightenment. That part was the part that was for you so that you can deal with it and move on. You understand? Deal with it and move on. But don't get stuck. You cannot change the past. You cannot change the past. And it's controlling you right now. And it looks like you're carrying it with you. Be encouraged, my love. Okay, please be encouraged. Know that this is a process. Know that it too shall pass. Know that during this process, just uh, try to stay in the light as much as you possibly can. All right? Try to pray your way through. Just say it. You know, even if you don't have, like... You feel like I don't have a prayer in me. I hear you. I don't have a prayer left. I hear you. I, but there is so much power in the name of Jesus. Just say the name. Say the name. Say the name. Okay? And try to stay busy. Occupy your mind. Because your mind is battling right now. This is a battle. Okay? This is all battling. Internal conflict. Whew. We need something funny. Final messages, please, for Gemini. 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 Final messages, please. For, I'm hearing it's not over. Final messages, please. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Look at that. Get some effing sleep. You're being an ass because you're effing tired. Face to pillow now, okay? You're the best thing to ever happen to you. You weren't defined by somebody else. 
you are the best thing to ever happen to you, okay? Go easy on yourself. Buy your own damn drink. That means look out for yourself. Watch out for yourself. Take care of yourself. Nurture and love yourself, all right? Whatever you're thinking about, look at my squad. I'm telling you, now is not the time. Let that mess go. I'm telling you, stop texting, stalking, checking on that person. Just effing stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. S someone worth it, like yourself. How about that? Geminis. Whoa. Guys, I hope that if this resonated for you, that you just stay encouraged and know that better times are coming, okay? If it doesn't resonate, check your moon and rising, but don't take this energy with you, please. Leave it here for someone else. And guys, remember that we are all perfectly imperfect, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.